Okay. as our fast pass for our ride which is great so now all we've got to do is get our photos with the Epcot ball when we go around to the front so so far we're doing really well smashing it woo woo. Yeah. it's about three o'clock so we're well ahead of schedule as well so we're doing well brilliant so we've made it to the Germany pavilion and we always stop and have a look at this little train track here it's really cute it's like a little miniature train track Sort of in between the Germany and the Italy pavilion. The trains are all running through. Very loud speaker. <laughs> we are at park three. And you have some shrimp. It's the black pepper shrimp. Black pepper shrimp from, from, from China. China. Nice. Yeah, really nice. Isn't it? It's spicy. It's nice. Good. That is Epcot snack done. We've got our fast pass. We've just got my final Starbucks being here series mug. I was very worried that I wouldn't be able to get the Epcot one because I realised that Starbucks here has gone. And I'd already got the other three. So I thought, please tell me I'm not going to be able, like, I'm going to be able to finish the collection. collection. But Mouse Gear are selling them, so that was really good. But apparently, the guy at the checkout said that a month or two ago you couldn't get the Epcot one anywhere anymore. So there was loads of people who could have Starbucks the didn't um, send any because yeah. they closed. You could only buy it from a Starbucks. Yeah, so we done well to. There's park get that over today. here. And what's it's a 10 minute queue for Spatial Perth, so that's quite short actually. But we have got our fast pass, so we're going to go and do that now, aren't we? Yeah, let's do it. And then we've completed the four things we need to do here. Because we've got our photo the other side of Spatial Perth. We just need to do a few last picks before we leave. With, and our, we're done. with our badges, and then we're ready to head over to Magic Kingdom for our last park. So far, so good. Awesome. <laughs> Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. In the future, the country will be a great place to work. Your high-tech home office will be a media-rich environment, outfitted with global networking and the latest digital tools to turn your dreams into reality. <laughs> Need to be somewhere? No problem. Just pack up and go. You'll be able to keep working on a commuter train that runs on magnetic force. Your team is always available for brainstorming, even while you commute. Thanks to a personal digital assistant that carries all your files. Who knew that board meetings could be such a blast? Great job, but you want to live. So technology will help you live better. It's like wireless technology that 
brings you news while you're at the beach. This just in, looks like it's going to be a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. The end, or should I say the beginning, of your future. And that is Epcot done. Three parks are now complete. Time for our final one. It's about quarter to five, so we've made really, really good timing. We've managed to get a fast pass for Magic Kingdom. We're going to go on the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. So that's great. So we know we've got our ride for Mag Magic Kingdom. I think we want to get the Peter Pan float from Storybook Treats for our snack. And then we just need to get our pictures and find a character. I think we might try and meet Tinkerbell or Ariel. We're not sure yet, we'll see how it goes. Would like to meet Mickey as it's his birthday, but I imagine that the queue is gonna be very long, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're just heading up now to get the monorail over to Magic Kingdom. We're just on our monorail. It's monorail green. And it's the express one now, taking us straight to Magic Kingdom. Had an ear change, these are the ears that I want from my lovely friend Charlotte, Charlotte in Wonderland. She done a giveaway and I won it. So I'm wearing these, we've got a little castle in the middle, so they're very fitting for Magic Kingdom. Are you excited for Magic Kingdom? Yeah, last park. Last park, we've got a plan. We've got a plan. Yeah, and it will be our last time seeing Happily Ever After this trip. Which is sad. However, Start crying. I probably will cry. However, we are going to be watching the Christmas fireworks at a party on Thursday night, and then we get to see the Christmas fireworks again from our room at the Contemporary on Friday night, don't we? So we've still got two more Magic Kingdom fireworks, just not happily ever after. But we're looking forward to seeing Magic Kingdom all festival and lit up at night, aren't we? Very. Yeah. Here is the contemporary just coming into there now. They're like the garden wing rooms. And we're just about to enter the resort now. And on Friday, we will be checking in here. There's, oh, they're waving up there at Chef Mickey's to us. We was going to eat at Chef Mickey's this year, but we changed our mind and we've gone for Garden Grill instead. This is the floor we didn't look at. See, we've got a shot. Yeah. <laughs> the shop's called Fantasia. And we're just coming round to view Bay Lake Tower, which is the DVC part of the Contemporary. Also looks a beautiful hotel. And very shortly we will be seeing Space Mountain. You can see a lot of the Tron construction actually. There's Space Mountain. I'm looking forward to riding Tron when Matt comes. You can see that the track's gone in now as well. You can just see the top of the Astro Orbiter. And the castle is just peeking into view. Beautiful. We're just walking into Magic Kingdom and it's really quiet for some reason so I feel like something's going to be happening it looks like maybe some sort of show Something's going down Yeah, because they've blocked off the pathways and it's really eerily quiet, isn't it? Don't you think? Yeah, But we're here at Magic Kingdom. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah. The Main Street Philharmonic. 
Okay. They're off to do something, I think. <laughs> Busy along Main Street. We've got a little bit of a tear on when we come down, but we're we've we pulled ourselves together. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Looks beautiful with a light on it. We're at our fourth park. So we've just got our first snack for Magic Kingdom. So this is snack four, and we've got the Peter Pan float. It's huge. It's huge. What's it like? So nice. Yeah. Like so we've done all four snacks now. Now we just need to do a ride and a character and we have completed this challenge and it's only half five, we've done really well. Yeah. So as you can see the sun is setting and it's getting a little bit dark now. When you last saw us we just got our Peter Pan float and we were heading to Winnie the Pooh. However Winnie the Pooh went down so we got a multiple experience fast pass. So, to help making to help make meeting a character easier, we have come to meet Ariel at her grotto and used a multiple experience fast pass here. And then now we've just tapped that, we've got a fast pass for um, Under the Sea with the Little Mermaid ride in five minutes time. So after we've met Ariel, we're gonna then go and do the Ariel ride. <laughs> You look happy. <laughs> We've got three hours left of a day and we've smashed it. So Last bit was a bit stressful, but here yeah, we are. Yeah, getting a character, we were suddenly panicking, but we managed to meet Ariel, so that was really good. And now we're doing the Ariel ride. We've never done this ride before, have we? No, first so time. Well, here we go. Ride four, challenge complete. Now that he will see which trick Ariel points her way from her. Wait a minute. You look kind of familiar. Well, anyway, Ariel. Yeah. 
our challenge it's dinner time and we've come to the Pinocchio's Village House as highly recommended by my friend Grace from Let's Do Disney and I've gone for the chicken marinara which is with pasta and Alfie's just got nuggets and chips and it appears we have a little side salad as well which is interesting so we're about to tuck in as this is well deserved I am your host your ghost here where you see paintings of some of our guests as they appeared in their corruptible mortal state. I may step all the way in place and make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. The trace and aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> We've just done the Haunted Mansion, haven't we? And we've done Pirates as well. Very lucky to get that Fast Pass, actually. Yeah, we had a pi Pirates Fast Pass at 6.55, and then literally as soon as we tapped in, as we was walking over, you kept saying how much you wanted to do Haunted Mansion, didn't you? Yeah. And nothing was showing up that great on the fast passes. And then we refreshed it, and then 7.40, um, Haunted came up. So we, by the time we got off Pirates, it was time to do Haunted, so that's great. And now, which is probably going to be our final ride of the night, we're finally going to give the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh a go. After it broke down earlier with our fast pass, but it's probably going to be our final one, isn't it? And then we're going to go and get a spot for Happily Ever After. Yeah. Final time to do that as well. Yeah. Very sad. Time now. Yeah. It's been a long day. It has been a long day, but it's been a good day, hasn't it? Very worthwhile. Yeah. Yes. And it feels like we've done so much. Yeah, we haven't done a lot. We've visited four months. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been fun. So let's now do Winnie the Pooh as our final ride of the night. Beautiful, huh? So beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. We haven't even seen it from the front yet. We just we've seen it from behind, we've seen it from the side. Twice. So we've not been up on Main Street since it's been lit up. Mm. This is our first proper time seeing a castle like this. Brilliant. And we are home. Happily Ever After was amazing as always. I didn't film any of it because we were only seeing it one time um, actually like in front of the castle like in Magic Kingdom and I just wanted to completely immerse myself in it and enjoy it. Everyone around us had their phones up so it was quite difficult to see anyway. 
we were completely rammed in. We'd got there nice and early and got a good spot. And we were right on the end where like the line was for people not to stand. And no one listened. The cast members just completely gave up with trying to enforce that rule. <laughs> and we were completely squashed in by the time it started. We had people, we were sitting down waiting. We had like, people treading all over us and like just everyone was unbelievably rude. It was just carnage. I've never, never experienced it like that before. I don't know whether it's because there's the Christmas parties on at the moment. So Happily Ever After's only shown three times a week. So I think that might be part of the problem, but it was, quite carnage so to be honest trying to worry about filming it was just going to be impossible and i got some good pictures last year of all the castle and everything when it was going off and i got a bit of it on film then for myself um and i just thought you know what there's tons of videos on it of it on youtube so i'm just going to completely enjoy watching it with alfie because it's my favorite show i get so emotional every time i just can't help it so I thought, I just want to enjoy it. I don't want to be worrying about holding my camera up. So that was really good. It took us a while to get out of Magic Kingdom, as you can imagine. But the park is actually open until 11 o'clock tonight. Um, so when it finished at about 20 past nine, a lot of people did stay, which did help. But we managed to get on a bus quite quickly. It was really good, actually. They had buses flying through. So there was like three in a row coming for all-star sports. So that was really helpful. So we got back to the result about quarter past ten in the end, which wasn't too bad. And we got a drink in with our refillable mugs in the food court. And then we met our friends Grace and Rob from Let's Do Disney, who were also staying here. Um, and then bid to the outlets. And they picked me up the imagination pink spirit jersey which i have been looking for all holiday and have been unable to find and they very kindly gifted it to me for my birthday which is in a couple of days so that was very very nice of them so i'm very happy now in my imagination pink spirit jersey it's the first one i've ever owned as well i've never owned a spirit jersey so i feel very excited now that i have one and I have been looking for the Arendelle Aqua one as well, but they're, they're nowhere to be seen. So I knew these were in the outlets, but they had two XLs when we went, and that was all they had. Um, but I sort of thought before we came out here that they'd still be in the shops, but there isn't any. So really, at the moment, it's just all the Christmas ones and sort of the new rose gold tie-dye one. That's all that's really out. So I may get a Christmas one. I'm undecided yet. I'm going to wait and see the one which is at the Christmas party. Um, and then make a decision after that but yeah I'm really pleased so thank you again Grace and Rob I'm very grateful for my birthday gift and we're meeting up with them tomorrow to go around Epcot World Showcase do a bit of food and wine with them um, but plans originally for tomorrow are up early again uh, tomorrow is be our guest for breakfast which we've never done before only ever done dinner so we're very excited um, and then we're going to stay, watch the parade at Magic Kingdom and then head on over to Epcot. So yeah, it's extra magic hours at Epcot tomorrow night until 11pm. So we'll see how much of that we get to stay for. Um, but tonight it's about, it's gone 11 o'clock now tonight and we're still wide awake. So I think we're just running on adrenaline today because it's been absolutely manic. But somehow neither of us feel tired. But time to get ready for bed now to get a nice good rest. Another great day. Can't believe like we're over halfway through the holiday now though. It's gonna be like starting to get ready to go home soon, which is sad. However, we've still got a lot more fun to go. So we'll see you tomorrow.